Okay. Hello, this is David of the Rigger at Crowley's Yacht Yard. Today we're going to learn the quarter quarter splice, also known as the high tech splice and or the class two splice. We're going to put that in the eye this time. So we're going to start by going a short distance back an inch or so and making a baseline. From that line, we're going to take our fed. We have three eighths fed. We we'll measure three full fed links. We're going to make mark A. So from mark A, we're going to bend the rope over and we're going to form our eye size. It's for a higher, so we're going to make it a eye about that big inch and a half or so, and we're going to make mark B. At mark B, we're going to bunch the rope up like this. We're going to move the fibers aside, prying them over. Like that. And we're going to stick our fid and pry out the core just like that. We pulled the core out of the cover. We need to go up the standing part of the line about an arm's length and tie a knot in the line. Go back up to the knot and milk cover slack back down the rope. We're going to mark the core where it exits the cover and that is mark zero. And I like to put a zero there. Now we're going to go one fid length down and make another mark. We are making our marks up the standing part of the rope. From that mark one, I'm going to go another short fid length and make another. I'm going to make two marks. And this is mark two. Should look like that so far. We got mark zero, we got mark one, and we have mark two. From mark two, we're going to go four fid lengths up the standing part of the line. One, two, three, four. And this is mark three. I think there's a train going by or something. Mark three. We want to take a very sharp knife, cut it at an angle, that way we can tape the core tail very tightly, very neat and tight. We're looking for a nice long taper like that. Going to do the same with the cover. So the cover is made out of polyester and it doesn't dull up your scissors like the core does. So just for... I like to use scissors when I can. Nice long taper. Okay so we're going to put this shackle in the eye. So we need to do that now. We have mark A, we have the shackle, and we have mark B. And this is going to become the eye right here, this section. We're going to go in mark A, 
out at mark B. So the best way to do this is bunch up the rope and your fid should go right on in there. And then and you're gonna make sure you're in the same hole not gripping any of the core or the other cover. And you're gonna pull it out. The core, we're pulling the core until mark one and mark A are lined up. Now we're gonna hold mark A and the core together and smooth all the cover slack and we're gonna mark the core at that point and that is going to be mark four and now I'm gonna go I'm gonna go in at two and out at three and once again I bunch it up and the fid slides right in and this one will have to milk like that I bunch it up and smooth it back and we're just going to exit the fid right there and pull now we want mark four on the core to line up with mark two on the core. So we're gonna continue pulling core out until that happens. There's mark two and mark four. So at this point, it should look something like that. And we're going to put a piece of tape holding that together because it does it does move a lot if you don't tape it. So that should hold them together. Mark two and mark four taped together. We're just going to go right here and start moving, alternating strands because the line starts to fall apart at the end anyway. Then you take your sharp knife Then we get down to the end whack a couple off here. So now we've tapered the end we hold mark 2 and mark 4 and we milk the core into itself until it disappears. Now we have to get all of this material in the standing part of the line. We're going to take our cover and go in at mark B and then out about two or three inches down. So I'm going to insert my cover tail on the fid and I'm gonna bunch up by pulling core out of the standing part and I'm gonna work my fid down in that hole and I'm gonna about two or three inches this may take a little effort some lines this one wasn't that bad. So I got the cover and I'm gonna leave it just like that. So he's holding it tight. And you'll notice as I start pulling on this, the core just wants to go in there. It's gonna get all bunched up. It's gonna get really tight. So you have to work it back and forth. As I'm milking the slack back and putting tension on the line, you'll notice the cover. I mean, the core is going in the cover. So 
So we're going back to the knot. You have to pull relatively hard, work it, smooth it. Got our cover sticking out here. All right, so when you get to that point, remove the tape. Mostly got it in there. I want to make sure. Now when you get to this point, you could stick a screwdriver or fit in there and give it a good whack. And it'll it'll go right in. But since we're using the shelf, we want to ease it in there. Because I don't want to have to pick all that up. So we're finessing it. That got all the core that was spliced up to mark B. So we take all this slack. So you work the twist out of it while you're pulling it through. Like that. Make sure there's no excess slack in the cover. Work that all around. Pull it tight. Okay, this, essentially the splice is done. All we got to do, take a very sharp knife, cut it like that. Milk it back. There you have a high-tech splice. All right, well, that's it. That wraps up the high-tech eye splice. I'm David, the rigor at Crowley's. Bon appetit.